on one. Now I'm going to show you how to reinstall the rear wheel. When I last you left, I jacked the bike up so I can get the wheel out. Then I went over and changed the front pulley and now I'm getting ready to put the wheel back on. I did not change my jack height to the bike. It's still the same. So I can grab the wheel, work it in where it needs to go into there. I gotta make sure I get my belt, get it up over the outside of the pulley. Okay, let me show you that. What I did is I just grabbed this, put it over top of that, okay? Yeah, be careful so I don't scratch that pulley up. And then over here, it's kind of hard when you're doing it by yourself because now I gotta get that caliper down over here on this rotor and undo all that. So I'm just gonna lay the camera down and let you guys watch me scream and holler as I try to do this, okay? Okay, all I do is roll the bike in a little bit. Get the brake caliper back on its perch because it's inside on the wheel now. Not quite. See what's hanging me up? Yep, I know what's hanging me up. I have to lower the bike down. I have a Rick's tank on my bike, and the back of the Rick's tank is not allowing me to get the wheel in far enough in order to set the caliper down on the rotor. So I'll, I'm just going to lower it down just a little bit, just like that. Still not far enough. It's close, but not far enough. So I gotta go a little bit more. Come on. There we go. I saw the brake lock on the perch. Okay, I'm going down a little bit more. That was actually quite a bit more. So I can get the caliper on there. Single man team, things don't work out the way you always want to. I gotta bump this thing up. There's a little rubber grommet on the perch. And you gotta get that rubber grommet on the bottom side. There we go. Nice. So now the perch is all the way on. The wheels turn just a little bit, but I gotta lower it down some more because I'm not square with the hole. So I'm just gonna lower it down just a tad bit more. There you go. Check my brake perch again. I'm getting closer. The brake caliper is over the rotor. Okay, I'm getting close over here. And now what I think I'll do, tensioner, nut, small spacer, and then here's the axle, and the other spacer. I'm going to push the bike over, the rear wheel over to the right, get that spacer lined up. My axle's got plenty of never seize on it, so make sure you put never seize on it. Now there. My axle's through. Now I gotta back it off. Now I gotta work the rear tire 
so I can get this small spacer in there, okay? And it's in. Hit. Was in. Okay, I'm going to hold it in place. Okay. Now the axle's on there far enough to hold that spacer. Now I'm going to work the caliper to get the caliper in. When the caliper's in, all I do is just tap it. I'll tap it some more, spin it a little bit with my hand. I'm just spinning the axle. And there it is, it's all the way in. Now when you put these spacers back in, make sure you get them lined up on your bearing. Okay? Come on, we're not quite there yet. One man show. Ugh. Had to let the bike down just a little bit. If I can wiggle it around some more. There we go. Now the tensioner, if you look at the other side, it'll tell you which way it's got to go. In this case, I got to turn it this way and put it on. There's a flat spot, and that flat spot goes with the axle. Okay. Now, that right there just goes to show you that one person can put a rear wheel on all by himself, okay? Now what I'm going to get ready to do is get this thing so um, I can get this belt back on, alright? I'll be right back.